but in fact culture is a very curious concept on the one hand when we talk about culture we suggest that there is some kind of set of ideas or practices uh, which are long-standing uh, which are prior to the individual's birth and which are in some sense determining uh, what uh, this person is doing. So there is in the word culture as it has usually been used uh, a sense of historicity uh, and of permanence, uh, of longer permanence uh, so that people say, well, the economy can change the uh, the state structure can change, but the cultural underpinnings of the society remain the same. Uh, and so people say, well, India is still different from the Western world, and Southern Europe is still different from Northern Europe, uh, and, and so forth. Uh, that on the one hand. And on the other hand, it's quite clear that culture, we're talking about things that change with such incredible rapidity uh, that it, it's, it's astonishing. Take language. Language is, after all, normally considered a major part of what we mean by culture. Language changes every day. The English language today is not the same as it was three days ago. Uh, ten years ago, read a book in the 19th century and you already realize that no one would talk that way today. Read a book in the sixth, uh, written in the 16th century and you realize that it's a little hard to understand. Read a book written in the 13th century and you know you're into another language, although it seems to be somewhat similar. Uh, so, language is, is, is changing every moment. How can that be some long-standing underpinning. Well, some things change and some things remain the same. Now, this is true of any cultural sphere. Of music. Uh, take music. Goodness. People always discuss the fact that uh, adults, let us say, people age 30 and over, tend to discuss the fact that they do not understand why their children, 15, enjoy the music that they do enjoy, which sounds to them very curious music. Uh, they remember other kinds of music from when they were 15, and of course their parents had said the same thing. So obviously musical tastes are constantly changing, and we know that. We write books about it. We, we, uh, so here is this phenomenon that's supposed to be the same, always and therefore underpinning other things and always changing. How, how, can, we, how can we deal with that? Well, uh, surely we can't deal with it by making rhetorical statements about the primacy of culture or the primacy because we have to understand why it's constantly changing and this immediately gets us into the economic, so-called economic and so-called political spheres. Obviously it changes because the power structure changes. Obviously it changes because it has some meaning in terms of the, uh, of the market, either reflecting changes in it or attempting to seek changes in it. Uh, and obviously, in turn, all these other spheres are constantly changing. That is, we live in a world, we have never lived in any other kind of world, in which things remain the same and change simultaneously, and which gets me to the epistemological question. Um, 